Okay, so uh, I'm here. I will be hopping into a Discord call in about 10 seconds with uh, a few of the other casters. We'll be looking at CT Division 2 first. Uh, we'll kind of work our way up to Division 1 reg tracks. So uh, I'll be joining the call right now. And. After we. Solid. We're, we're in. Hello. 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 Everyone, do your introductions while I send the file. Okay, you start. Who's starting? You. Fine. So, I'm KD, I'm the CSL League admin, and I occasionally get accused of power abusing. Meme. Uh, I'm Aaron. Uh, been accused of cheating on multiple occasions by relapse. <laughs> because I use blue line when I wore them. Obviously, I hack, so uh, feel free to put me on ban list whenever you're ready. I mean, um, ignore that. It's that statement. I'm the one everyone normally hears because I'm in almost every cast. I've been accused of hacking multiple times, none you of which cheat. being ban list worthy. <laughs> I don't cheat, I get 10 Neither. points of war. Gurus <laughs> <laughs> for the team. Hashtag look at my appeal. Um, let's, let's not. But uh, we're going to be starting with Division 2 on the CTs. I'll quickly load that graphic up and everyone can do the rest of their intros if they do arrive but uh i think everybody's here now okay has, has anyone intro. got any obvious comments on ct division 2 from what we saw last week well fox is a beast <laughs> fox is a beast yeah <laughs> no one expected fox to you know do well on cts we, we've also discovered to pick heart of china versus chemical energy uh, that that was a funny, <laughs> funny race. Part of China was discovered that day. Was discovered. Yeah, what a front run! Fabulous track indeed. Great CT design. We're seeing that uh, multiverse have a bit more potential than people thought they did, but uh, weren't able to use it last week. With Nicholas. 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 Indiv track picks. He's my hero. We did see that Spade can get some big points though, so that's that's a good bit to know. Yes, 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 yes. Let's let's look at the matches for this week then. Uh, RB versus Wallywogs. That's that's gonna be the first match. Very a very uh very kind of one sided vote there. <laughs> very one sided compared to the results we saw last week. I mean I guess people consider Wallywogs to be like a stronger team, but last week RB did do quite well against Chemical Energy. It's you know, important to note that RB didn't even use the strongest lineup because we had to use Jazz when he didn't even want to play. But I guess people saw Wally Wogs and went big team, big points. People think people think if you're good at rig tracks, that automatically means you're good at CTs. That's it, exactly it what I thought. You know. That's exactly what I thought before week one, and then I was told differently playing that match. I mean, track knowledge is so important because tracks get released like pretty much on a fortnightly basis you pretty much need to stay on top and actually practice them because there's like taking a look at last week when rb was against um chemical energy we've got players like barney who are like really good at regs and obviously they've got their strong tracks but if you put anyone who's really good on regs on a track which they know nothing about then we've seen in the past they might not go that well. That well, like Mansion of Madness, he had no idea where it was going just because he hasn't played the track. Oh, of China! Mean, yeah, if you, M5? yeah, if you play all these just like technical new tracks, I guess uh, Heart of China isn't new, but it's one of the hardest tracks just in general to navigate if you're a player who doesn't play CTs regularly. Look at RB. I don't know. Practice. I think if teams just get their own tracks down. And then just practice them. And then, like I said last week, 
as long as they get enough tra tra track picks, then they should be fine. I think it's one-sided towards Wollywog since we did see Fox go in, and the rest of WZ probably can play custom tracks, but I think it'll be a lot closer than the votes show. The argument yeah, I, I, I don't. I, I don't think it's going to be a blowout. I I don't even think Fox played that well last week. I think they were quite lucky that Multiverse didn't really have the best of luck. At the same time, they weren't picking as a team. You know, yes, he's a good player, but I don't think, you know, if that was against harder opponents or opponents that were playing more as a team and had more knowledge on how to use items on tracks, because we saw those were mistakes Multiverse made. If they were playing against the team that knew a bit more, um, I, I don't think Fox would get a 140. You know... It's highly possible that Fox might not even MVP this war, depending on, you know, what team plays better, because both teams have very capable players on CTs now. It's not a case of multiverse where it's just spade, and even they say it's just spade, but RB has a few. I agree on that. I don't think RB will do any indie picks, and no. I also think they're going to work better as a Fucking team, picks. and that will deter Fox's points. Yeah. We Ace, you were saying how there's a CT updates on like a, a pretty frequent basis no. right now. No. There's a bit been a... Well, not at the moment, but there, there are still tracks been... which are like... When was the last update? I swear, the last the actual track hole. update. The, the last like update was November, in like February, February. or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it certainly wasn't recent. It's yeah. it's been delayed because of this ghost system, and now is literally the best time to practice CTs because there's no updates. It's going to stay yeah. the same for quite a few months. But I mean, even if there isn't updates, like as of frequently, there are still players who maybe even Wollywogs plays who haven't played every single track so even if there isn't updates every single week however there are still tracks which are relatively new and there's quite a lot of players in the community who only played cts like 2013 at the time i used to main them so even i haven't played quite a lot of the custom tracks which are kind of new this year so teams can definitely take that as an advantage to practice some track and use it as a counter pick are we going through like every match and then given predictions on that match before we move to the next? Yeah, I, I, guess that... I think we should. Yeah. yeah. I guess we'll start off with RB versus Wollywogs. Um, I'm just going to go in order the Discord. Aaron, who do you think is going to win? And who's your MVP? I'm going to say Wollywog is going to win, but I'm going to say they're going to win by like 20. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, Fox will probably MVP. Probably. Right. Very likely, actually. Um, I'm not going to say a winner because I'm playing the match and I don't want to sound biased because I honestly think it's going to be quite close. MVP, I'd probably give it to either Futile or Fox. just depends on which team backed them up the most. Tom? I'm also playing in that match, probably, and I think RB have the potential to get their players like Futile to score really high, so I think Futile will probably MVP. And is insane doing CT. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty much on the same boat as Aaron. Literally, he just said what I was going to say. All right. Ar Arby's going to put it within 20, and Fox will MVP, MVP WZ win. And KD. I think there's going to be a bonus point. I think it's going to be close. Uh, the MVP is going to be between Futile, Fox, and I'm going to throw a third contender in there, Jaskol. He's pretty good. He was in TD, the disasters, and I think he can contend for MVP. If they wow. use him. All right, let's go on to the next really match, just, though. Just takes everything we all just said and then put it in one. <laughs> Moy versus Multiverse. Team Ruby. Um, uh, I didn't actually catch Moy's last week. Did they win or? No, they lost by they got... 40. They were against Yandrif 2, right? Yeah, that was against Yandrif 2. Uh, they had Ruby getting 104, Sweep, or some, something on those lines, getting 109, and then the rest of their players scored 50 or less. Mm. 
I mean, it kind of just goes back to what we were saying, as we did expect Ruby and Sweep or Sweep. Or, I still don't know how to pronounce his name. Fuck his name. But Whoa. I did expect them two to be the best players in Moy. I still do think that the rest do have potential since um looking at just like the weanfight.de site i see quite a lot of them have been practicing just even if they just custom track worldwide with each other they're at least getting familiar with the track so moving forwards the more tra tracks that they motivated up for that plans i'd say are pretty similar on skill level i'm not too sure who i'd give it to but i definitely think that this can be close if both teams show up I mean, the you've community got, uh, vote. Like Eater as well. The community vote shows that it could be yeah, one exactly. of these really close matches, and I think we've we've said Moy practice, or we've seen that them practice. Multiverse are always practicing. Literally, almost every night I've done like two or three events with them, and it's the it's one of the best ways that I've found to practice is with. Like multiverse because they're such an active team even if they do in clans or fun rooms they're still playing and i think they'll have an advantage over teams like moy if moy are focusing more on some of their players focusing on regular tracks i know um sweep and e2 players like that ruby as well focusing on regular tracks perhaps especially if the match is meant to be right after reg track time because I've heard that they're meant to be rescheduling it to 3.30 EDT or something on Saturday, oh. which is right after Reg Tracks. Yeah, there's quite a few teams which are going Reg straight into. <laughs> so maybe Multiverse could take an advantage, practice some of the CTs while all the others are playing Reg CSL. I'm focusing more on CTs on Wiimap at the moment. Yeah, that's what Ruby just said. I have seen Ruby do quite a lot of CT worldwide with the rest of Moy, so... Obviously, because Moy aren't actually playing um, Reg CSL this season, I know that Ruby is playing for Mollywalks 2. They do have other players at EXO as well, but as a team, they are probably going to be focusing most of their, um, I guess, time into custom tracks. Oh god, that's a nice comment. Yeah, that's <laughs> I've just seen. Where the stunky thing? Hex and Caesar. I'm not even gonna read the rest of that. Yeah, I think you should leave that one. That's that's but, a long message. Like the community said, I think this is gonna be a really close match. Does anyone else have anything to say on it before we go to prediction? Nope. Alright. Aaron start us off again then. Alright. I'm gonna break the tie, just cause. The you never tie. Know. Yep, predicting the tie. Yeah. And probably either Ruby Soup or Nicholas for MVP. All right, I'm gonna go with Multiverse. I just have this feeling that as long as Nicholas can stay in the room connected, and because he's got pick, toxic energy. Pick as long as they tracks. can team pick. Yeah, as long as they can team pick, keep practicing. MVP, I'd probably give it to Spade just because he's the most established CT player, I guess. I do think players like Ruby could still contend and will score high, but MVP, I'm going to give it to Spade. Tom? I'd, I'd like to say honestly same with exactly what you've said. No, oh, no. Nice. Um, yeah, MT are going to win it just, I think. And Spade will probably MVP. Fair enough. Uh, insane. Uh, I'll give it to Moy, especially if Puff plays or Poof or whatever, because I think he could be the third strong presence because he's decent in regular tracks from what I remember, and I think he may be able to bring that to CTs because I've tried doing that in 2013, even though the tracks were like different and the game's different and stuff like that. Good old 1.02, the times, and KD. Uh, it's going to be a close one, but I'm going to give it to Multiverse just because uh, they can exclusively focus on CTs. And I'm going to give the MVP to Spade because I think Nicholas is going to DC and that's going to affect his chance of MVP. And going on to the last match of CT Division 2, we have Yandriff 2 versus Chemical Energy. Yandriff 2 obviously coming off of a win against Moy last week. 
And chemical energy, unfortunately, not getting the best track picks and teamwork. Oh, they lost China the RB. didn't help them. Yeah, I was just about to say that. I think the energy, in terms of lines, like just players in general, I think they're the better players by far. But it's just the problem that Vale said it himself. They're literally relying on Vale and Russo to carry, and the rest to just get a decent spot, kind of. Like, we saw RB, like, focus on these technical tracks, like Mansion of Madness and Heart of China. And I don't want to pick on Barney, but like, as Barney said, he doesn't play custom tracks that much. That was, I think, his second CT war ever. Well, Luke got lapped on Heart of China. Exactly, and it just comes to, like, track knowledge. I think as long as... I don't... If it comes to this week, I think Yandrif 2 are going to win this week, just because I don't think Kevin Clangy have had enough time as no, a team no. just to go around and practice. But I think as longer the season goes on, then I think we'll see Chemical Energy start picking up these wins. They could make it close, but I just feel like they're going to be relying off Vale and Russo too much, and the rest of the players haven't learned as many custom tracks as they may have wanted to. I mean, if they pick retro tracks and just spam these like easy tracks from even right like, from 2013, just these tracks which are kind of easier to drive and everyone knows, as long as they get the majority of track picks, they definitely can make it close and even win, but... If you under to get the majority track picks and they keep picking these tracks like Heart of China, like Mansion of Madness and stuff, then I think it might be pretty one-sided, but it all depends on track picks really, the way I see it. I have a lot of faith in my son, Sky. and Your son? Uh, yeah, my son. He is my son. And then uh, my, my, my good friend, uh, the Barbinator, relying on the barbershop and Barb City. Barb's the best CT player of all time. No one can deny that. TD Colonel. Yup. Colonel's back. And... Oh. Alright, let's quickly do predictions for this one, starting off with Aaron again. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm Drift 2. This guy MVP. Um, oh, me. Um... Oh, you. Yeah, I didn't realize. I think Yandrif 2 are going to win it, like I said. MVP, I'm actually going to give it to Russo, just because he's got quite a lot of BKTs. Online, he might not be as good as he is at time trial, obviously, but I still think he's a good enough player to be able to front run. As long as his team back him up enough and aren't, like, bottom three the whole race, then I think Russo can MVP. I oh. would say the same. Stop copying me, man. What the fuck? Sorry! I'm with the same people. CTs, right, especially D2, are really easy like this to predict sometimes. Um, insane. Uh, yeah, Yandrif 2 with Russo MVPing. And KD. I'll give it to Yandrif 2, but I don't think Russo is going to MVP. He's mainly a time trialer, and yeah. it doesn't translate too well to online. That's your fox. So I'm going to give the MVP to Sky like Aaron did. And I guess that will move us on to our next division, which is going to be the first division of No laughing tracks. at the first result. Waiting for the amount of lol in the chat. The amount of community faith in the Sodiumers. I think we but have yeah, a few is... more, but... That's going to put us with our first match of Relapse versus the Sodiumers. Relapse, obviously, one of the strongest teams going into this division. They played Battle Alliance. Battle Alliance actually won the first GP against Relapse, and I was kind of shocked. I was like, is this the start of Relapse? Something happening to them? And then they just go and win the next two GPs by like 80. <laughs> After so, last season, this is all downhill for Relapse. Yeah. What I predict happened in that match is probably BA got a few retro picks or just tracks that they've practiced, and then Relapse got the majority from then onwards because Relapse from GP2 onwards completely smashed them, but. But yeah, definitely did show in that first GP alone that they are capable of scoring and beating some of the top teams in this division, but... I think as the votes say, if we look at this, the votes are 14-1. Yeah! 14 to, yeah. 14 to <laughs> 0! The Sodium has actually lost to Flow last week, and Flow and Battle Alliance were the two clans which in this division were looking like, oh, they don't really belong here, they're not established CT clans, and then... Flo obviously picked up Sean, who's been playing CTs for a while. He was in Twitch modes for the last two seasons as well, so I think well, that pick up with Sean. Matt, Life, and Jam, the dream trio. 
Yeah, they have Matt Life Jam. Uh, no, they have anyone else? Of course. Let's, let's ignore the fact that the sodium is apparently through the match last week or some something like that. I don't. I don't believe that at all. <laughs> Typical Simon. I mean, we, we let them win because we let them we win, let them win because we said we play for fun. I, my heart. I'm not gonna call that throwing the match. I'm just gonna call that not throwing out your best lineup. Uh, it's it's oh. deliberate choice, but it's fine to have fun. He like if you say a right lineup, go and have fun. It's CSL. That's fine. But we intentionally lost the match to make it more fair yeah, in the division. It's <laughs> the way that he said it, and the way that they didn't put their best lineup out did kind of make it sound a bit suspicious. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, just that like, the community vote really agrees with me. I just think that Relapse, they've just done well in CTCSL for the last two seasons. They went 10-0, and and then they went undefeated again and lost in the playoffs, but it still shows they've won like 20 out of their last 23 matches. So they definitely have shown that they have the potential to win the division again, and I think that the only team that can really stop them is the final stand, which we'll get on to. And I guess that will leave us with predictions for the first match with Aaron. Okay, well, relapse, mm -hmm. my boys, let's see, who can MVP? Hmm. Whoever is whoever's in their lineup is probably going to MVP. Just throwing that out there. Like, it could be literally any one of them, not just Xander. <laughs> Guess who's you next? Can... Yeah, you, you can go now, Ace. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Your turn! Yeah, I think Relapse will win. Um, pretty good MVP. I'd probably go with someone like... Um, probably Xander, I'll say, for this one. If he plays, if not, then... I guess I'll ask you. Tom? Um, relapse. I am quickly looking at the last match to see if I have any clue on who will MVP. Um, that awkward silence. I, I honestly think we might see someone like Proto MVP. Oh, baby. The protocol. Alright, RE, Xander, and MVP. KD, your turn. I'm gonna give it to RE by far, and Proto's been getting a lot better compared to uh, when I last see toward him in like 2015. He's gotten a lot better. I, I'm giving him the MVP. He's gonna break 100. That's about a year ago, KD. <laughs> I reckon. And that moves us on to final stand versus my Discord's crashed. I don't want more are you Final stand flow. Flow. 13-1. Are y'all ready for Baby Park and Luck Tracks? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I know that I randomly saw a picture of um, Flo getting top four on Green Loop, which yeah. is a pretty... Yeah. Oh yeah, that's one of our signature tracks. Well, I shouldn't say R because I'm not in their CP. But yeah, one in their best. Is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, I think. Me. <laughs> yeah, I think this ties back to what I was saying against. Um, I think it was Yandruff Two versus Chemical Energy. I think Flo have the potential to win, like you were saying. And I think Flo actually could win if they do get track picks because track picks are so underrated in custom tracks. It's, there's just there's so many custom tracks to the point where teams probably don't have enough time to practice all of them. So as long as you do get a decent amount of track picks in a war, then you should be able to do well. I don't think Final Stand opt in for any sort of uh, suicide bagging. I think I saw in the CT representation chat that they actually wanted no overlap, which is probably what Flo wanted as well, to be honest. So, I think either team could win. Probably going to give it to Final Stand, just because I was saying earlier. Final Stand and Relapse are obviously the two favourites going into this division. Pretty much everyone predicted that. But it just comes down to the day, really, and who plays better. There you go. Know, who gets triple streams first? In a higher spot, because that's literally what boring it feels like. Oh, whoops, that's assault. Never mind. Ignore oh, that. nice. 
That's just war in general. Just get going in the Sith when you win any trick. Um, predictions. Back to Iron. Alright. Ready for this? Here we go. If I was gonna win. Alright, here we go. Oh. Either gonna be Mega, Kirito, Matt, Life, or Jam. It's gonna be half hey, of the teams. <laughs> it's gonna be yep, one of those five people are gonna MVP. <laughs> it's hard to pick one, you never know. It's CTs. Um Final Stand and Kirito. Final stand and one of those five people. Oh nice. Oh, Final wait, stand wait. and Kirito. Wait. No one in flow will probably score over ninety. <laughs> Wait, we'll, wait. We'll all score like 80s. Wait, I forgot one person. Flary and Andy. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> like the fucking play. seven people there. One They're of probably those the one of those seven people. people. Yeah, one of those seven people got MVP. He'll still get it wrong. <laughs> Rufus, what if Rufus plays? Then you'll be so, so upset. <laughs> be upset of the season. <laughs> And KD. I'm going to give it to Final Stand. It's not going to be a complete blowout, but I can see them winning it by a decent amount. Uh, MVP, one of those seven people, I'm just going to probably just say Flary. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the last match of the division, Yandra versus BA, which is probably the one I know least about, so someone else talk about it. I don't know anything about it either. No. And I'm Yandrift. <laughs> talk Pop about Yandrift. Literally, all I know is that we're playing on Saturday. <laughs> that, that's about it. Aaron doesn't know anything about his team. <laughs> I really don't. Um, <laughs> Yaldrift, both Yaldrift and Battle Alliance lost to the uh, top two predicted teams being Final Stand and Relapse. They both lost by quite a high margin. Uh, Yaldrift losing by 122. And Battle Alliance, I believe, losing by 152. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Uh, if we end up playing a suicide war versus battle alliance, then I, I don't know. But if we don't, then I think you yeah, will probably win that. Especially with all the runners, like me, Viper. I doubt the A want to bag, to be honest. Yeah, I, 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 hate, I hate the idea of bagging on CTs. Like, it's really annoying. Yeah. That's why we lost versus Final Stand by like 100. <laughs> I just think that Yandrift have way too many more established CT players since Yandrift is pretty much just a CT clan. I mean, some of them do play regs, but a lot of them do focus on Yandrift. Obviously, they picked up players like uh, Viper from Twitch Emotes when it disbanded. Battle Alliance, obviously, more of a reg oriented uh, team. They do have good players like Dugo and Sarah, especially. It's probably one of their most experienced CT players. They have Mace as well, who's really good, so. If they have all of M3 playing, then they could. But I just think that the Yandrift just have better lineups. They have more diversity and they have more knowledge on CTs. So I think they'll be able to win it by a decent amount. And the last predictions for CT CSL memes. Start with Aaron. Even though he's already stood. Yeah, let's say Yandrift. And yeah. I'm still gonna say I'm probably gonna MVP. Probably. Oh damn. Oh, yeah. Um I'm gonna say the Viper and Yandrift. I'm gonna say Yandrift and one of the ten people who play, probably Viper. Nice. Wow. I'm gonna go with Battle Alliance and Vaps MVPing. YOLO. Why not? If you get it right, then you've got a bonus point there. Yeah. Alright, Katie. I'm gonna give it to Yandrift. Once again, it's not gonna be a complete blowout, but I think Yandrift are gonna win by quite a bit, and I'm gonna give the MVP to my boy Viper. And that leaves us with CTC itself for now for this week. Goodbye. Many joys around the whole community of the people who don't care about CTs, which is fair enough. People have personal preferences. But that is going to move us on to Division 4, the bomb on Division. This division is one of the ones which I think is just dominated by one or two teams. I think that 
as you can see by all of the numbers, all three of these matches are pretty one-sided in terms of what the community voted for them. I mean, starting off with Exo versus Into Oblivion is a 15 to 0, so unfortunately no one thinks Into Oblivion is going to win. Mainly, I feel that the reason for this is just because Exo is an established clan, they've been around, they've done CSL before, they have experience. And I'm not 100% sure on the rosters in D4, I just don't really find it an interesting division, so I don't keep up with it as much, but I do know that they have players like Days. So they do have players who are good enough and probably are better than D4 potential. They have, I think, a decent amount of bagging choices as well. They have like two or three. Into Oblivion, I'm just not sure on this clan. They, they have one I think, bagger, yeah, I think. They have one bagger, I'm not they, too sure. They just signed them up. Yeah. I think they might be in it more for fun. I think that... I'm not like I'm not 100 percent sure. This is D4. Anything can happen. I mean, they could just play really well. Any team can beat any team in CSO. We've seen multiple upsets in the past, but I just think that, like the community said, XO are just more of an established clan to the point where I feel that they're more familiar with bagging wars and with CSL in general. That I think they should be able to pick up a relatively easy win here. One thing I would point out is that. Into Oblivion only lost to Battle Alliance 2 by 22 in their last war. And in all fairness, that's not a bad result. And I know EXO won their match, but it was a match where you could kind of understand Aberration were tilted before it had even started. A lot of the track picks weren't going their way. A lot of people were DCing. I, I'm not sure we've seen the true powers of both of these two teams from the first match. I don't think I, I don't think EXO had too hard of a game. Uh, no offense to Aberration, but it clearly wasn't their day. And, no, I mean they had four v five. So it, it was a four v five most of the races. It was a case where a lot of the shocks were got by the people going forwards. There was only one bagger. It, it was a case where it, it just didn't feel like it's a match that should have really been played in CSL, if you know what I mean. It kind of just felt like a... Uh, yeah. I mean, we saw not, numerous... Not a fair way to show the team. Yeah. I mean, winning against a 4v5 team isn't the most impressive thing. I mean, obviously, if they're against their opponents, if they have four players, then feel free to bag. Do anything you need to do to secure that win, which is in the rules. That's fair enough. But as you were saying, I don't really think that shows us their true potential because it's a 4v5. And like you were saying with IO, I mean, BA2, they were initially seeded in D3. And if they beat a suspected D3 team, well, only uh, lost, sorry, if they only lost by like 20 to a suspected D3 team, then that's really impressive. And I mean, I'm not sure on these teams. That's why I'm not going to say much on it. But I mean, anything can happen, like I was saying. I, I mean, guess that will leave us with our prediction. If that really to I'm just trying to think if there's any final things I'd say about the way we've seen no. EXO. Because I, I think I understand why a lot of people are picking EXO in this match. But at the yeah. same time, the match we've seen from them, it was one where AR had one of their weakest teams because they had people that literally scored 45 they had their bagger playing as a runner because they couldn't bag because it was a 4v5. Yeah. You, you know, it, it was effectively... And the fact is, they only lost by, like, 80. You know, 4v5, that's not bad. That's, that's not bad given that it's 4v5 and they had a really weak team in comparison to what they could get. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, uh, that'll leave yeah. Us, yeah, that'll leave us with our predictions, I guess. Starting off with Aaron. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna predict EXO. And I'm gonna predict my boy Days. Yeah, pretty much the same. I was gonna say Days and EXO as well. Tom? Um, that moment when I need to get an IO player. Um, I reckon Into Oblivion. I'm going to be the odd one, because I always used to be. 
And I reckon it's going to be uh, maybe Jose. Because I think Jose plays for IO. Ooh, oh, I guess. Oh, man, Josie. I'm going to go with EXO and sweep MVPing. Katie. Uh, I'm going to go with EXO. They're more established. And it's a tough one between Days and Sweep, but I've seen Sweep play, and he's really good. I'm going to give it to Sweep. I think Days can get it tilted. And that will move us on to our second match of the division, which is Aerial Alliance versus Battle Alliance 2. I think that this one isn't as um, one-sided as the community votes say. I'm actually going to give it to Aerial Lions, even though BA2 do have players like Rookie, like um, Realm and Hikaru, who are probably better than D4. I'd say all three of them could easily run in D3 or higher, respectively. I just think that Aerial Lions do have also good players. I think that they play more as a team. I mean, Battle Lions, probably one of the most active clans in general on Wii Fi today. But the thing is, they use so many mixed rosters, you'll see like half of their D1 team play with half of their D2 team. And we have seen in the past their BA1 have done um, CSL practice, just their like main lineup. We haven't really seen that from BA2, we haven't really seen that much practice from the second team alone. So I think that will hinder them in terms of area lines, obviously because they are only one team in CSL, they have been doing a lot more practice and they have a lot more roster depth just because they're a bigger clan since Battle Alliance had to split into two and that's pretty much just why I think the Area Alliance can do well and I also think they have players which are better than D4 level That silence where everyone agrees and has nothing else to say Yup That feel when no one goes on it's... All right. It's kind of weird looking at these predictions though, because some of the people that are predicting, like last season, didn't predict D4 because they didn't know any of the players, and now they're predicting D4 when it's got more unknown players. That is weird. Like, look, there's 15 votes for every match out of the like 19 or 20 votes that were counted up. Like, three quarters of the people thought they knew this division. Yeah. I mean, that's just D4 in general. It's more of the, like, just more unknown community, which is completely fine. I mean, anyone can play it itself if they want to. But as a caster, it comes down to a bit of unknown knowledge, which I've just got to look up about the players. Um, I guess we'll go into predictions since there's not much else to say on this match, Aaron. Uh... This is the part where no one even does predictions because they don't know. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. Well, I know. Easy I shout know. out if you want an MVP futile. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say that BA2 is going to win, but uh, probably for MVP, I'm going to go either futile, max, boom, or so. Don't name five people. Yeah, <laughs> it'll it count. Man. It's not easy just to pick one person because you never to know. keep his perfect record by picking half the lineups. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> Take them all. I'm going to go with Area Alliance, but I think Realm will be able to put up a decent amount of points here if he plays, so I'm going to go with him for MVP. I'm, I'm going to go for the legendary Aerial Alliance with Futile, because I don't think Realm's going to play, because he always seems to have issues, which means he can't play standard time. Well, if he doesn't play, then I'll go with Futile. Insane. Uh, I'm gonna go with Battle Lines 2 and Rookie MVP and come at me, Luke. And KD. I'm gonna go with Aerial Alliance uh, winning. I think they have better teamwork, but I am gonna go with Rookie MVP and come at me, Luke. Alright. Well, I have to go for like five minutes for this last one, so feel free to talk about that. Um, I'll give my predictions quick. I'm gonna say Aga. Is gonna MVP. He's not playing. Aga, God, KP's gonna MVP. I believe in him. He is playing. Yes. KP's gonna MVP, and LL2 are gonna win. I'm, right, I'm in LL2, so I can explain 
kind of the lineup idea that we have. I guess that can totally take five minutes. Um, so pretty much the current plan is to try having something like Jax is Jax play playing or Jax not? Jax is that... playing, yeah. Oh, okay. No, I'll sue Jax MVP. All right, move on. There we go. No, yeah. no. <laughs> I need to discuss my team. <laughs> I need to get my team airtime. <laughs> I have not practiced bagging in ages, and I'm still first choice bagger. Um, Aberration have a Zuma as bagger. Uh, according to Quinton... Aberrations lineup was. Let me see if I can get his message because it was on Discord. It looked like their lineup, according to Quinton, was going to be him, Shamron, Mui, Azuma, and one other. And that was according to him on last Sunday, that'd be. But from what we've heard from Azuma, the lineup is completely different and it's filled with people that haven't played before which is a so, bit worrying so no shamra i was gonna vote him to mvp oh they're doing I'm, the lying strat yo that's hype i'm not <laughs> sure i <Lie> about <laughs> your lineup yo that's hype. yeah that's no, the thing though people should do that we've, we've got quentin saying that it's him shamron miri and azuma and we've got azuma saying just a few just like yesterday that it was some of the people that got absolutely destroyed by an ll2 lineup like, I'm pretty sure it's going to be closer to Quinton's lineup prediction. So we are going to be uh, planning for that. But imagine if Aberration were to put up a lineup of some of the people that haven't really played that often. I, I'm i not sure if they could recover from two heavy losses. I, th I think this is a case of redemption for both teams. Uh, Lost Legends 2 losing barely to Aerial Alliance. One of the main reasons for that being uh, team communication. We had a certain person on tilt that seems to want to be in the lineup. I'm not going to name him, but he's a Latin American. And he has... Oh, the he, well has he has the last... <laughs> he rhymes with bagger. Um, Gee, I wonder who it is. Is it Aker? And uh, that's, that's Aker. why KP wasn't too sure on putting him in the lineup this week. Because... For the first seven races last week, it was just him swearing about the fact that Seek was starring the shock out of everyone and having a go at his team for backspamming him when they were nowhere near him. But uh, that, that sums the match up. Ho hopefully that's been nearly five minutes. He's still not back. I think if we... LL2, Jax win. Yeah. It's done. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna say L2, but I'm I'm gonna predict that Sherman's gonna MVP because Sherman's a beast, and nobody knows he's a beast. I am gonna say LL2 Jax, although I'm clearly in LL2 and I shouldn't vote. Let's let's do it anyway. And Ace isn't here, so that's gonna be an awkward silence. Is KD here? KD! Yes, I'm here. I am here. Predict. I'm going to give it to Lost Predict. Legends 2. And Jax is going to MVP. And Shamron is going to be a little bit under it. Sorry, Aaron. Nope. Don't doubt my boy. So that's going to, I believe, take us on to D3. Let me put the graphic up in the Discord chat right now. Jax. It could I, be. I see it being like 20 to 30, though. Bonus yeah, it's not going to be a blowout. Jax 140, I predict that. It's not going to be a blowout, that's for sure. Oh my. Do you like the Wait. Division 3 <laughs> Why, is Why is one of only a 15? Uh, because one of the people voting was in one of those teams. You know when people in their team don't vote for their match? I don't see why not. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to matter. No, well, it's. I guess it's people not liking people that are overly arrogant and are like, yes, we'll win every match. But so, some people don't pick their own team and 
That's why we have some fluctuation in the numbers of votes for some of these matches. Especially as we get into the high divisions because lower division players don't really seem to be ones predicting. It's when you get to division three and above, you see people predicting. But uh, Ace still not back. It has been nearly totally five minutes. There's no way that he's not here. There's no way he's not here. Let's discuss uh, last week's to stall for more time. Because he'd absolutely hate to uh, not be here to discuss Division 3. So, okay. Okay, Division 3. Last week, we saw the mighty Sedation get a penalty uh, for their illegal restart. That's, that's a minus... Minus points to you right there. Illegal restart. Um, Illegal restart. Never thought I'd see that. That's pretty big. It, it was fantastic. And it's caused Simon to be quite salty and make a thread on the uh, opinion of the rule. So that, that thread for the, for the sedation match last week, that thread has 2,092 views currently. Shoutouts to Simon, making a really great thread, filled with lots of great memes. Thank you. We, where would we be without you? Dude, that match um, was great. Ve very quickly to summarise the other matches, Lost Legends beat another Extreme Element by 22, and because Unbroken no beat Geek for Life. Because no Dante. Because... Wait, are you guys still on D4? No, no D D3. <laughs> I was gonna say no, Dante. Like, Dante D3, but feel free to put so. in your prediction for the last one of D4. He did. He, did. Is... he said lost. Oh, he did. Jacks. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're on D3 like now. Like everybody right? else. We're hey. <laughs> Remember, is Dante still banned? I think he's still banned. Yeah. I think he's, yeah, he's banned. I think Dante's gone. He's gone. I think he's like he's gone. gone. A another ban that we didn't discuss was one of the IO players that I think Dante not many might people be getting knew. One of the IO players was apparently one of the alts of the young Vincent person who makes a million clans. Yeah, so so Neo question mark got banned. <laughs> Neo question mark. That's what Neo he's, question he's registered mark. as Neo question mark. Is ET salami? <laughs> I can't just call him Neo because he's got a question mark at the end and he's not all star Neo. Yeah. I mean, uh, what? Okay, moving on. Moving on. Let's, Lost let's Legends look. Versus the yeah! Okay. Lost Legends, I'm going to see. It's just going to be hard for them to lose this match, to be honest. I mean, Sedation have the potential. I mean, Simon thought that they could compete in D2, so if he has that much self-confidence, then maybe the team could be good enough. But if we just look at... Even if... Lost Legends' lineup is just basically the scope of now, which I don't know if that's offensive, if it is, sorry, but I mean, you've got players like Dookie, Trix, and Jonah in the same lineup who, like, never play together, and that might hinder their chemistry, but at the same time, they're, like, all capable of easily playing in D1 when they're in D3, so. Lost it's just gonna take. Have, uh, uh, Lost Legends also has Sykes now. So. Yeah, they have Sykes now. Oh, great. The mighty the only Sykes. <laughs> Literally a team of rock. It's literally yeah. the Skype Slimes, literally. Maybe the will actually Legends. plan the Magic Cruiser strat this time and have someone else intentionally DC so that they can reset. <laughs> yeah, as long as, long as they intentionally, as long as they DC, then it's fine. They're not just turning really off them. Just no, but if a race part... DC, how will you know? <laughs> now, the worst part is that Simon didn't even try to hide it. And like you could have just said, oh, I disconnected. He's like, no, 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 I, I reset so we can do magic strat and win. <laughs> so jeez. <laughs> so I think that LL do get outmatched in bagging. I think that Simon's a better bagger than Maria. So uh, if Simon can get enough shocks for his team, that might help. I mean, they do have players like Alvin and Trippy Sam who can run against his Lost Legends player. So it's going to be closer than a lot of people think. But I just feel that Lost Legends have better runners. And better runners in general usually mean you're going to win, unless the other team get an absurd amount of shocks. Awkward silence. Predictions yep. go, Aaron. You uh, idiots can talk as well. 
All right. Mm -hmm. Lost Legends. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to pick one person this time. It's going to be hard, though. You know this. All right. Ah, uh, uh, you've made a mistake, Mr. Mister Somebody who said that Simon was their bagger. It's Insect. No, oh, never mind. Simon was filling in because he... I seem to remember him being very cocky, saying that if he was in D2, he'd bag, but he didn't feel he was good, he was bad enough to play as a bagger in D3. I seem to remember him saying he was confident running D3 because he didn't think the players were good enough or something. He's a D3 player. Shh, don't Big tell him. Shots fired. Anyway. So, I mean, yeah. if Hensek bags, then I feel that Lost Legends just have an advantage in everything. I mean... I think that maybe he's equal to Maria in bagging level, but we haven't really seen much from him to the point where I can say, oh, look, they're going to get loads of shocks now. I mean, Simon's proved that he can bag for numerous seasons now, so I think that Simon would be a better choice to bag in this matchup. If he wants to run and he's confident in it, then go for it. All right. Did you pick an MVP? No. <laughs> no. thinking. All right, okay. I'm going to pick two then. I'm going to go Alvin. And uh, tricks. I'm gonna go Lost Legends and Sykes. I'm gonna go the mighty LL and tricks. LL and my boy FU Sykes. <laughs> LL and Sykes. Alright. Geeks for life versus God's team, Battle of the Frenchman. We'll I don't understand why this vote is so one-sided. I know, right? <laughs> they're pretty even teams. I mean, God's team came up from D4, and now they're suddenly 13 to 12 against Geeks for Life, who... I think the only thing which is hindering Geeks for Life... I think both of these teams don't have an established bagger, do they? They can use Sasa, it's fine. I mean, it's, yeah, but I feel that they they just have players like, oh, can you just drive backwards and try to get shot more or less, like established like main player baggers which we see from the rest of the top divisions i guess we we may have a certain person who played in the war last week against geek for life in the cast currently who could give us an opinion on the match wait who's, who's in geek yeah i wonder no, oh yeah King fucking decimator what do, do you have a personal opinion on what you saw from Geek for Life last week because you played? Well, I don't think they used their best lineup, and Jazz was getting a ton of shocks, and Unbroken was just outrunning them hard. But, but, but bag, bagger than Katie. Was to know. I mean, I guess that does kind of bring us a point. Maybe Geek for Life do need a bagger that they don't have. If Jazz was getting all the shocks, then maybe Kazam, I think it was, who bagged. Maybe he's not really good enough. Or I guess we could argue Jazz is actually quite a good bagger. Um, you know, Jazz is the kind of person who'd be competent in an even higher division if they were just thrown in. I, I'm not sure if it's a case of Kazam being, you know, not good enough for D3. Or if it's Jazz being just too good for him. I think it's just Jazz being too good for the division. Because Jazz is number one national choice for UK. He was in the final of the World Cup last season or last year. Um, yeah. Have we got any other opinions on the match? Still don't know any of these teams. France versus France. Any opinion yeah. on France? All right. Well, <clears throat> God's teams have they have Shark and Shiv and Gisco and Jumpy and uh, who else? Matt. Yeah, yeah, Matt. That's uh, literally all I'm, I know. I'm stuck for, for other players. <laughs> I literally don't know anything. Let's let's kind of give our predictions of this match then, given that we aren't too sure on the baggers for either team. 
we're not too sure on like the running capability of Geek for Life because even if that was a weak lineup, they had all of them get outran. Definitely. I'm and gonna ooh. I'm gonna predict God's team and probably name a French person. You've got a chance. Like, Cobra. He's bad. <laughs> You've not got a chance with that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shoot. He distributed the I dot ra. Can you just not give him? <laughs> Can we not? <laughs> He's the MVP. <laughs> You're predicting the I dot ra as a uh, MVP. Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, at, at least you're original with your prediction. <laughs> Pick a French bagger that's been banned for a, for nearly a year. Go! He is coming back. You never know. Once one French person comes back, they all come back. Not from a ban. Not from a ban. <laughs> you all, you'll all never know. Technically, I came back from a perma ban, but let's ignore that. IL was fun. Hashtag look at my appeal. Um, that. Oh, is it my turn? or? Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm gonna say G4L just because I don't know anyone in G7 still. Um, and I'm gonna say Nico MVP, otherwise, there's gonna be a whole bunch of salt in the thread. Literally, he's just gonna post a picture of a salt mine. So don't. G7. Let this man's down. And it's time for KD. I'm gonna give it to G7. Uh, they just seem stronger. Uh, but Nico still has a chance to MVP. I, I, I don't really know the players on G7, so I'm just gonna give it to Nico. So, like Insane said, there's no salt. <laughs> there is no. And now in Broken versus AXE without the legendary Dante Vampiro. Unfortunately, the name is too long for the graphics. They have AX Element as their current name. AX Element. AX Element. With dots in between. Just to point that out. A. <laughs> Grammatically correct, although not really. I'm sure you'd have a grammatical rage at me for what I've done on some of these, but uh, Unbroken versus another extreme element, quite a tied vote. But one thing I would point out, a few people picked Dante to MVP and he's not gonna play, so. Sorry, rip your hopes and dreams. Goodbye, Dante. No, Dante's gonna MVP anyway. I, I don't care. <laughs> he's, he's gonna find his way in. He's gonna, the, the, he's gonna take Acme's save data and play for him. The, the picture yeah, he, he's, made. he's gonna he's gonna share save data. I, I think if there's a bit of a save data, we may have to check Wii console IDs and stuff. Yeah, no, that'll no. be fun. <laughs> that, that'll be no, fun. No. Hello, Mister Weemfy Mod King Decimator. Yeah, I can check. <laughs> um, I think a lot of the people's votes for another extreme element were based upon the fact that they thought Dante was coming back because it was like, oh, Dante posted a picture of Bobby with a penis in his mouth or something. And then, oh, no, it was actually someone else that made it. And then, oh, no, he posted it anyway. He's getting banned anyway. So it usually never doesn't matter who makes it. No, from well, they, <laughs> from your experience, they had the fun <laughs> task of saying, or I remember a quote where Sabi pretty much said that it might not matter because Dante clearly didn't make it, and then literally the day after it was like, nope, Dante's permed. So was it perma? I can't remember. I think Pro it's probably is if it's. A picture of someone with a penis in their mouth. That's God, prob probably not safe. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> yeah. In my opinion, if you have the nerve picture, you should receive the consequence. Alright, so moving on from uh, Dante's uh, 
Dante's Shane. What the issue. fuck? What? So, uh, hey, uh, KD, do you want to explain why uh, Derek's under unbroken? Um... <laughs> you want to explain that transfer? <laughs> He said he would he would agree to allying for us. Ally, Derek. Yep, Hello. Derek's my hero. Now. <laughs> Ally, aka Placey. So we're not using him during week two. I'll tell okay. you that we're not going to use him during week two. Can you uh, fill me in or fill us in on that uh, that LU you guys are using this week? Uh, you could do see, the fake LU is strat. Probably gonna be very similar to uh, week one, except. And KD's playing in the match. I'm not sure if that means he's not predicting or. I can predict, but I'll be biased. <laughs> be biased. Okay. Be as biased as okay. you want. <laughs> I'm. I'm probably gonna give it to Unbroken. Our our teamwork has like just gotten really good, and we've done a troll. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they Jazz, Hey, Jazz, Jazz trolled week one and he did great, so don't discount him on trolling. Well, no, because I've heard Jazz's words saying if he Have could fun troll, trying to troll Latin Americans. If they could, if he could troll versus, I think it was END or a clan like that, Final Destination or whatever they're called, then he could perhaps play, and then he didn't troll very well, so I'm gathering that's probably how he got kicked from... Or how he said, don't put me in the lineup. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I thought so. The deductions are correct. Good. Um, let me quickly drag the D2 picture in. Um, there we go. Because we are about to make our predictions for this final match of D3, Unbroken versus Axe. Alright. Alright, so Unbroken, I'm going to win. Because things I know and uh my boy the real MVP the over experienced D1 player <clears throat> I mean ignore everything else I just said my boy can Joel best player your boy not MVP. Be playing your boy not in the lineup oh, I thought you said USA Joel wasn't playing no USA Joel's playing oh why did you lie to me? You said U.S. Angel wasn't playing. It was the uh, LU lying strat, and you've just forced him to play his card. Oh, no. All right, well, then See, I the changed my vote. Not, the reason we're not using Ken Joel is he hates Trolling Wars, so... I don't blame yeah. him, dude. Trolling Wars are garbage. I mean, no offense, but yeah, Trolling Wars are garbage. So I'm going to predict either KD or Cody is going to MVP. All right, Cody, time to end your dreams. Um... Cody's still my boy though, so it doesn't matter. I am gonna pick. Boys gonna... I'm gonna pick Unbroken, of course. Um, I don't think Axe would have got those votes if they knew Dante wasn't gonna play. But I think if Acme plays, he could MVP still. Damn. All right, I'm gonna go with uh, Unbroken with Acme for MVPing. <laughs> And KD's playing in the match. I'm not sure if that means he's not predicting or. I can predict, but I'll be biased. <laughs> be biased. Okay. Be as biased Don't worry, I'm as you want. Okay. I'm. I'm probably gonna give it to Unbroken. Our our teamwork has like just gotten really good, and we've done like we've just been really active as of late. And Cody's a beast, and I've been doing pretty good. And it's a matter of whether I'll MVP or Cody. Akmif will be third. Sorry, Akmif. You never know. Always depends on the support from the team. Miss Stray will probably put Akmif on tilt anyways. Never underestimate lag. Yeah. That is so true. Like, I play like crap when there's a bunch of lag. Same. Unless I'm the one like. Well. No, Vyrath, I'm not putting Viper in just so we can have three wheelers in a line. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Should we move towards Division 2? 
sure. We feel like D2. Yeah, we, there we go. Let's, I'm let's stall some time and talk about the last few matches that were played. We saw Avail beat Untouchables by 18. We saw a <sighs> lot no, no, You want to know what I'm going to say about that war? You didn't There's like it. There's like six bills and eight. That's all I'm going to say. Good. Uh, energy... And Wally Wogs had a penalty fest with a couple of penalties leading to Wally Wogs winning by two. And Bonus. Old Knight beat Battle Alliance. Cool. Cool. Damn. So the first match we will be discussing today is Untouchables versus Wally Wogs 2. Let's see. Well, from my experience, warring with UT versus Wally Wogs. But I don't, I don't, I don't think... We have a good winning, a good record versus them. Considering usually every time we wear them, we either win by a lot, then rematch, then lose by a lot, or we just lose by a lot and leave it at that. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna be UT is gonna be using a better lineup this week, in different bagger, depending on if Neo can make it this week or not. Is Spade actually here? Is a big question because he is sitting in the cold. The silence tells us his mic isn't working. Rip. Um, yeah, that's not the best for him, but let's just say, are you sure that the lineups for Untouchables is going to be stronger than what we've seen from last week? Definitely. Because last week was quite unlucky. We'll probably have you. Oh, oh, and Zoe and something and probably played a big part of that. Yeah. Because <laughs> no one saw that coming. Literally no one. Except for me. Who didn't play. <laughs> but then, you know, WZ2, Ruby, Quinn, Larry, Sean, Irik. Probably what's going to be their lineup. Probably wrong. Uh, I mean, at least but your team was consistent. Good. With yeah. a 89, 88, 87, 86. Everyone put in their fair share. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um. Are we doing predictions now? Or just... Have we discussed Wally Wogs two at all? Or I they... mentioned their lineup. That was about it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know much about WZ2 because I don't really like when every time, usually when we wore WZ, like the only person from the WZ2 line who plays is like Quinn. So, and I can't say anything about Quinn because it'd be soft fest for me. But Quinn's a good player from what I've seen. Last week they used the mighty Zeno as bagger, and there are a few, a few errors from Zeno. Um, he played a bit Can too I say risky. that, uh, <laughs> my, my boy Zeno definitely is not a bagger. <laughs> no. As seen, as seen from that and from World Cup. <laughs> he's not a bagger. <laughs> no. No, he's not, but he played as one and. Somebody asked you. Yeah. Is it working now or? Hello, Spade. Yes, it's working. Hello, Spade. What's up? You're about. Um, four divisions late. <laughs> I figured. Let's let's predict Untouchables versus Wally Wogs two before we end up having more awkward silence. Any any words, Speed? At all? Please have what? some. Say any hello. <laughs> um. All just like lagged out real hard for me, so. Solid. <laughs> Untouchables, Wally Wogs two, Spade opinions. I think that um, Untouchables two. Or... <laughs> Untouchables two. <laughs> I mean, you I know, think... it, it might as well be Untouchables two at this point. 
Uh, I think Untouchables can probably pull it off. I know Wally Wogs have a, quite a lot of chemistry, and they are quite a well-balanced team. But I feel like Untouchables can pull this one off. So I think I think it might come down to like who gets more shocks and who's bagging for WZ two because that's literally what it comes down to. Because if it's Iric, then we're probably fucked. Probably. And if it's Zeno, then we're still probably fucked. If it's the mighty <laughs> Canadian <laughs> Zeno. <laughs> hey, U UT does not have a lot of luck pulling shock. <laughs> DK requests to join this call so we can quote unquote analyze. Analyze the matchup. Alright. <laughs> TK, TK, PMELU right now. Go. Do it. Do it now. I need to know. This makes my life a lot easier, too. TK's being asked, is asking to be added to the call, but this is the casting lounge, not the add everyone lounge, unfortunately. <clears throat> Do we have predictions from people who are uh, in the call? Like, I, I honestly think, like, WZ2 has... I would say slightly superior running, but their bagging is questionable, so I'm going with UT on this one. Because stuff of reasons, and slide is slide, and he'll be good. Megas, Megas will win. <laughs> yeah, slide MVP. Alright. Same. Uh, Damn. Oh. All right, I'm gonna say Sly is gonna MVP unless Neo plays, because then Neo will probably MVP. But then again, I still don't know LU yet. So yeah, neither Sly or Neo, or you know, somebody in WZ2. <laughs> like yeah, someone in WZ2. And is there anyone else to predict that hasn't predicted already? No. No. Maybe. Battle Maybe. Alliance Energy, you! <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to give it to Untouchables because I think they have better bagging. And uh, I'm going to say Slide is going to MVP. And if Sane plays, I hope Sane can uh, steal Sane's Slide's bagging. Wii. I think Sane's bagging this week. Well, I hope he can steal Slide's Wii anyway. Well, get ready for shocks and knife. Yeah. Shocks and nine? Groups? Staying on Condi's yet? I'm still wondering. Nah, nope. he right. isn't. Then be sure to fix that. Uh, when, uh, when I see a uh, Sane under conditionals, then uh, you can definitely assure that we won't be getting any more shocks. Cry. <laughs> Move on. Battle Alliance Energy! Alright, so. Energy came close to being WZ2, right? Yeah. Yeah. But that was like because of like penalties and stuff like that. Was it, was it a big penalty? No, no. It, really no. it was really minor penalties. It was a point correction that gave Wally Wogs like four points over energy. And it was a minus ten on Wally Wogs too because Zeno literally drove into a box just as Russo was driving into it. I see. Okay. So it mm. still would have been a bonus point match. But it wouldn't have been as close. Okay. I think it was 370 to 362 before that. <clears throat> Let's see. Hmm. It depends uh, on who Battle Alliance uses this week. Battle Alliance last week didn't have the best of wars, did they? I don't know. They were playing ZT, though. I, I feel like that was expected. ZT is the favorite in the division. They, are. they could have been D1, but they aren't. I feel like they should have been. Oh, well, I think mean, oh, they should have been if they had Ryan. I mean, from last week, though, we did see some of the ZT members that we never thought would run very well. Running very well. Uh, we saw, Red. We saw oh, Red. Anderson, Red 
we saw Ace and Red who, you know, Ace we knew was kind of more of a bagger from a few seasons ago. Uh, he ran really well. And then Red, who we didn't even know really played uh, too often, he did okay as well. So, I I'm not sure Battle Alliance is too equipped, but at the same time they are facing another team that's kind of under fire for not being high performers in the last division that they played in, losing players. Yeah, I feel like Ben's been kind of lenient on the, his members. Yeah. I'm just trying to see their line. Oh. Uh, I feel like BA has the better pegging matchup, but wait, which which Thomas is that for energy? Is that Netherlands? And which Thomas is it for BA? Uh, oh. Netherlands is energy, I think. Um, I can't remember what one's in BA. Okay, I think BA has the French Thomas. That of my yeah. Yeah. I I think that like. BA is gonna win because I feel like Lackey's a more experienced bagger than Ben, and that will be a huge impact. But yeah. Four pen. Any other opinions from you guys? Netherlands. Not really. I have no other opinions. Same there. Um, All right, predictions. predictions. Aaron. Okay. All right, I'm gonna predict. I'm gonna predict BA. And probably say that one of the Thomases will MVP or Dugo. It's Spade, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> Mike nice. is kind of being like shaky, but um, I'm, I think I'm going to predict energy to win, but I'm going to have to go with Dugo on the MVP, so. Dugo, 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 Dugo. Stunky. Tom, um, you're next. Great, fantastic. Thank you for telling me. Um, so you know. <laughs> I am going to say Battle Alliance, and why not throw in a Jamie for the sake of it? Alright, I'm going to say Battle Alliance, and uh, this is hard MVP to pick. Uh, I'm going to go with Luke. From energy. Which one? The German one. Energy whoa. Energy whoa. Energy whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Luke, you're bad. I'm sorry. He's probably not on the stream. He's not even on the stream, is he? It's probably a oh, so. Dang it. Katie. I'm going to give it to Battle Alliance because I think they have better bagging, as mentioned previously. As for MVP, there's a lot of different contenders for this. Uh, it could be either the Thomases, uh, Luke, or it could be Dugo or Jamie. But I'm going to give it to Jamie, I guess. See if he bounces back from last week's not-so-great performance. Yeah. He might have had to hold blues and stuff, so... Not sure how that affected anything. Well, Jamie, bounce back. Jamie, Here's get how you did last points. week. Yeah.
All right, Zoltanite versus Avail. Um. All right. Well, AV actually used Zone last week, so I think he's going to play and again. I've didn't seen they use Zone. Legends as well? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, um. Whoa. I feel like they they still might be a bit. Re- didn't actually Zone did really well last week. Bill and Eve. <laughs> I do not have any words for that, but yeah, he did well last week, and Fantastic. if Legends can get back up to his old self, like, they they definitely have a chance to, in my opinion, upset ZT, although personally, I don't think it will happen, just because ZT has been around for a pretty long time, and they know each other fairly well, so... Also, they picked up Cosmos as a beggar, so that's an improvement. Because I wouldn't call Ryan really a beggar. He's more of a troller. Or Jonage. Or... Okay. Any other thoughts? I do think a van could pull it off if they pull out a really good lineup and um, just continuously get the shock they could beat the favorite of the division possibly so wait the Tekken MVP last week yeah yeah he got right, 119 or something all right that's my boy all right i'm going to predict ZT in Tekken MVP again i'm i'm going to be ZT with the Tekken's dog prediction yeah ZT with Sean MVPing Hopefully. Spice. I'm going to go as ZT and Zone, maybe. KD. I'm going to go with Zoltanite. Uh, it's going to be a close match, but Zoltanite are going to pull it out. Uh, MVPs, it, it's going to be between Tekken and Zone. Actually, oh, probably be... zone because he's French. I'm gonna go actually choose my MVP to either Tekken Zone or Olive Frey. Holy Frey! Holy Frey is a beast. There we go. And we have predicted D2. Are we gonna move to D1? Division 1. Division the only 1. Division that matters. There we go. It's Division 1. And yeah. That's a pretty RT name. We don't know what relapse are actually going to be called as we go into the match. You don't want to fucking... Oh, yeah. It's obviously <laughs> CBRT. No, they're not allowed yeah. to be called Dylan Killers or whatever they were called. Why um, not? RT laps or whatnot. Because the council has decided that it is no longer a serious business name. And, oh, no. and said that no. Yeah, it, I, I think they had further evidence that it was like some form of deliberate attempt to uh, attack CB in some way or... Yeah, that would have been yeah. for the tag though, not their name. The thing to change... That would have been for the their meme. Because Luke used a Jeff me, the Irish Luke used a Jeff me, someone used a Nagisa me, someone used a Derek me. Um, yeah. Typical Yeah, Xander used to Derek me. Yeah. Well, they might not be called RT Killer Dylan Killer Copyright Registered Trademark 2016. Well, that's what they will be in their hearts. So that's, that's all that matters. They meant. will be in their hearts, but not on the graphic. <laughs> RTMDK. That's what I'm going to call them now. Let's look at underground. Apparently, case. people look up to ha- being six foot four and having a girlfriend. Oh, that's okay. 
So that's Ari free. All right. So, all right. Let's get on to the actual match. Our t- <laughs> Relapse versus Underground Kings. Uh, the voters, 13 to 6. I feel like this was kind of like obvious vote for the like what people would expect. You'd expect this much of a disparity. Um, I'm just trying to think though, because I don't think the result for RT Killers was too uh, too convincing last week. I think. I got physics zoned because I got bumped by Xander on the last course, so we lost. Anyways. Yeah, I, I think it's a kind of thing where Floyd were predicted to be last in the division, or like second last. RT Killers were predicted to be one of the top two. RT Killers nearly lost to Flo. And now they're going against the clan that everyone thought was going to do better than Flo. I, I am not sure RT Killers will be able to uh, get a win here. I, I hope for the sake of the predictions that they do. Because you, someone has just called it an obvious prediction. But at the same time, is it really looking at the most recent performances? I'm not too sure. Eh, I, I, I don't know. I just feel like they're going to bounce back because they always have some magical last rage. Each time I see a video on Crusher's channel, it's like, oh, magical last race comeback. <laughs> They're down 19. Oh, they win the race by 21. Oh, no. Win by two. <laughs> I have seen so many vids like that on Crusher's channel. I feel well, like... Well, anyway. I've also seen videos on his channel where he completely... Lap three. <laughs> Any other opinions on this match? Has Fade we haven't got an said much on about RT Underground Lance. Kings and how Underground Kings got Nero and stuff like that. They have, and Nero could help them. Um, I'm not sure how. Nero is active. one of CBG's best players. Like, he, does Nero bit stay under- active? Uh, did they not pick up Samuel, or did they just not use him, or something? Uh, they, I think they, 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 they didn't use him. They didn't use him. Because I think Samuel would be a big help to Underground Kings if they use him correctly. And, like, if they use the players that they picked up from CB, they could easily beat... uh, We'll just call them RT Killers. So... RT Lab thing. I think the thing with UK is that they want to stick to using their German players. So I think they're they're original players. Yeah. (laughs) So we won't be seeing much of, like, Joseph. That's pretty much it. We won't be seeing much of Joseph. I probably probably won't see much of, like, Janny and Neon, who doesn't even play anymore. So it's probably just going to be, like, Racer, Eagle, Nero, (sighs) Prize, and Nico. Probably going to be their main lineup. But they could use, like, uh, Samuel instead of... Either prize or eagle. Using Samuel over eagle. Yeah. Look, I think Samuel is a bit better than eagle. Chance of. Just use Joe one twenty. Alright, so predictions on this match. Alright, who is it again? Oh, yeah. Uh, Who's yeah, it gonna... again? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to predict RT Killers, but uh, I'm going to say either Racer or Crusher or MVP. I'm going to go with Underground Kings, but I'm going to say... Either Crusher or Neon. Oh. 
It is my. Right, we're just gonna assume that you said Nero or Crusher. Next. Hello, that's me. I'm gonna say Underground Kings, and I'm going to say Jesus Christ Crusher, probably. All right, I'm going with CBRT Master Dylan Killers. Register trademark. Copyright trademark, restricted. Copyright. 2016 to 2016 trademark. Good. Good. <laughs> and I'm going with Luke Barrel or whatever his last name is as an MVP. 2016 or is it just 2016? 2016, 2016. 2016 to 2016. Yeah. So at the end of the year, we'll don't be get it wrong. <laughs> you never get it wrong. It's just you—you you will get a penalty. That is that's violation of section Q action. <laughs> that is that is very very clearly not a good thing to do. Getting the year wrong, despite the fact that the mighty Jaskaran Notta decided to get the whole team's name wrong in the registry and had it 2016 to 2017 until I fixed it. No, it was, it was just on Brian. No, it was the whole team. Mm, weird. I had to fix it. Brian's was the normal. Brian's right, was the has normal. everyone everyone made their predictions on RT versus RT Killers versus Underground Kings? His predictions or I think so, I, I, I still need to predict. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna give it to RT Master Dylan Killers trademark registered symbol copyright whatever 2016 2016. Section Q. And for the MVP, hmm, I'll give it to Crusher, but I think the match is going to be close. Like, within 20. So, yeah. And that will lead us on to MB versus Nuclear. All right, so MB had to play four versus five last week, and we all know how that ended up versus the Wogs. Not good. <clears throat> I just posted an L on the third. Not sure anybody saw that. Let's let's think. Will MB get five this week? Find out tomorrow. I believe, I believe in MB. You believe they'll pull five people? Yes. Good. Nuclear, on the other hand, do we believe they'll pull five people? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's have Even a look at... Uh... <laughs> you only have seven on the registry now since Jonah transferred out. They do, yeah. That's a problem. They're probably they're probably still good five. Yeah, they have active players that they shouldn't have a problem. We saw last week uh, people like Hakeem coming back and doing really well in D1, despite the fact that he probably wasn't played as much as he may have wanted, you know, in the past. Um, we also saw people like Ryan coming in scoring well and this is the thing the big question was over did some of these people have chemistry and clearly they have you know they could go on and do some good things in this division but you know will mb pull five i think is the big question and if they do pull five will it be the five that they need to win or will they just pull their like reserve team Yeah. <clears throat> I don't. I don't even. I tuned out. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Um, Hakeem. My fan went ham. Hakeem will do all right. He'll carry. I remember in uh. And might carry. Actually, they have Ryan. Ryan might also carry. I'm gonna say Hakeem. Just gonna carry. But yeah. Hack him. Yeah, hack him. 
remember uh, preseason when you played for Astronomical. That was a fun. That was a fun season. But that's not important right now. What is important is, do we have anything else to say on the match? I hope MB gets five. <laughs> hope MB gets five. And I predictions. Close war. Predictions okay. based upon MB getting five. Oh, if MB get five, oh man, who knows? Who close. knows? It's going to be close. It is going to be close. We're looking for predictions. Not uh, it's going to be close. Uh, nope. That's that's my prediction. It's going to be close and Akram's going to MVP. Are you going to predict a tie? Are you going to be one of those... Are you going to pull another no. tie off on us? <laughs> you never know. Penalties. Is, is, are you going to put every single person in, ever, in both LUs? Every single person on the roster? No, I say one of the seven people in nuclear are going to MVP. <laughs> nah, nah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say nuclear is gonna win by like four. <laughs> and Hackham's gonna MVP. Yeah. One sixteen. I I can see that happening. I would agree. Uh nuclear, but I feel like MB could uh, pull this one off if they do get five. Uh, with a really good LU. But if but as we saw last match, it uh. It was hard for them to get five, so I'm going to give this one to Nuclear. And probably Zane, if he plays, maybe Lunar. So. Not not Jazz. No, not, not Jazz. Fucking Zane. <laughs> My heart. I, don't, I actually haven't even seen Zane like, play. All right, I'm going to go with MB. I'm, I, I believe that they can pull this off somehow. Oh, Goomba's probably going to bag. I was actually going to... Uh, I guess Lunar MVP. My boy Lunar, who's not good at playing in a team, from what I've seen in Skype with Zones. That's not important, because Skype with Zones is the biggest joke of 2016. Damn. Yeah. All right. PD. All right, I'm going to give it oh, I'm going to give it to MB. If they get 5, if they don't get 5, it, it's nuclear by far. Uh All right, so and wait, wait, wait. <laughs> For MVP, I'm going to give it to Ryan. I think we should have made our predictions on if MB actually gets 5 and not just them in general. <laughs> um, just let's let's give predictions. Will MB get five? Everyone just say yes or no. <laughs> yes. Yes. Look at make this straw. Yes. 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 Make this make this straw pool and put it in chat. See what everyone <laughs> No. No. <laughs> make an unnecessary threat on MK boards. Will MB get five? What no. is that? Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Get out of my candy. Get out of my candy. Ma, there's no cup in here. You can't pour the pop without a cup. Pour the pop without the cup. I normally just, I just say soda, but same thing. Shut the door. There it is. Get the orange juice. There you go. That's what we've all been waiting for. <laughs> sit back down now. All right, so let's just move on from that Wally and go to Wally Wong versus Flo. Uh, all right. Uh, this has the biggest disparity out of any match. Yeah. Because w Wally Walks has pretty much proven themselves to be a contender time in and time out. And Flo just recently came back. And yeah. Anyone else have any opinions? Um, well, after general. Flo's recent like almost win against RT Killers, I think that gives them a lot of confidence Anything against Wally Wogs. And I... I don't think it's going to be a blowout like these predictions say. You hear that, predictions? You're wrong. Um, 
Any other opinions, Stunky, Aaron? Not, not really. The general, I don't have anything. The general. The general is not playing. No. Oh, wow. wow. Dude, I've seen score, dude. He's a beast. I mean, he may have ended the few shocks and target shocked people in first, but, you know, he's still a beast. <laughs> He also is also being known for a uh, calling cows <laughs> when he's in suicide bagging. <laughs> he's also pretty well known for uh, uh, asking people to throw it when they pull a mega. <laughs> God. I need to get that video. It's so funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I got a mega. Throw it. Throw it, Ronek. Throw it. <laughs> All right, so I, I guess now we have that out of the way. Predictions on the match, or if anyone else has an opinion, they can say it now. I have no opinion. Well, All right, Aaron, go ahead. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna. S mm, I'm gonna mm. say Flo's gonna win. In oh. uh, either. All right, here we go. Fox, TK, uh, let me scroll up here, hit that. Roster. You're just listing the whole roster. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> 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 I don't where I was going with this. I had to see who was playing for Flo. Sorry, so Fox, TK, Matt, Jam, Life, or Insane. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, otherwise, and uh, yeah, actually, no, I'm just gonna stop right otherwise now. Otherwise known as Operation Call Half the Team Out. <laughs> Look, you <laughs> never know who's gonna MV skill levels very close. You actually <laughs> don't Aaron. Do MVP with flow usually. Like, different people go off at different times. So. I will probably go with Wally Wogs, and Ooh. I'll guess um, either TK or Matt if he's playing. Is he playing? Matt is playing, yeah. All right, I'll go with Matt then. That moment so with TK, I... if you can, TK, you just hit me up with WZ lineup. It makes it a lot easier. Um... Meanwhile, I'm going to have a random stab in the dark and go with Flo. Um, that moment when you don't know who's playing for Flo and you have to call a player out. Um, uh, not, not I, I listed like half of them. Insane. You already are know you playing? Not are, complete lineup. are you playing? Yes, I'm playing. You're going to MVP for the sake of naming an MVP. There we go. All right. You've, you're probably the bagger secretly, but you're going to MVP. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. Like, I was the bagger secretly one time, and then people were predicting me to MVP, and that was <laughs> fun. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was last season with a veil, where people predicted me to MVP, and then I ended up bagging. Yeah, that was cool. All right. I'm not going to predict since this is my match. And Katie? Um, I'm going to give it to WZ. They just seem stronger. But it's going to be close. And I think Fox is going to MVP. Based on his previous season performance. So according to Katie, just about 90% of the match is going to be close. It's D1. Nope. You, you literally said it's going to be close for every division except oh. D4. <laughs> so wait, didn't he say that for like the CT he, division yep, too? Even in the yeah. CT division, it's going to be close <laughs> that for every one. I remember. I was listening. <laughs> I didn't say close for every single match. Almost every match. Oh. That's why it said 90%. Because there's nah. like a or something. It's, or more like... Like, it's more like half. 70%. Oh, 
bullshit. <laughs> Almost three. Meet me in the middle. Six, sixty-three point five three percent. Literal. Meet me in the middle. That fifty-six point seven five eight two one nine percent. Don't know how you can get that many percent out of eighteen matches, but we'll go with it. Also, I might have said that I'm not going to tell her live because I don't actually know what our, our entire lineup is. Good. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, dear. But I think that probably wraps up the whole oh, thing. TK has supplied us with WZ lineup, so. Has he? My bit... could be right on either Fox or TK or whoever's playing for Flow. Good. Um, I'm I'm sure you don't want to be calling out the whole lineup on stream in case a certain DK insane in in DK case DK. in case insane just has his notepad open and starts writing an essay on how good they are and what <laughs> and exactly what to do. Like secret bagger. <laughs> we're, we're secretly there's, using the there's general. There's no need to have a secret bagger. <laughs> They're secretly using the general. Well, if if you see Stunky in an LL2 match, I think you can tell he's not a Stunky secret bagger, he's certainly a bagger. If they really wanted to, I guess. It's on That's Stunky, awesome. I'm the secret bagger. You're not the secret bagger, no. Cobra's <laughs> the secret bagger. That's <laughs> Cobra. Okay. Cobra's gonna MVP D4. Or Blackjack. <laughs> or Versus Blackjack. G7, I believe him. You believe in him coming back as an old... You know, they'll never see it coming. How did... Shoot. He could be okay, ulting okay, right okay. now. Okay. He'll ult his Blackjack. How's that? Cobra and his kid are gonna just wreck it up. Cobra and his kid. <laughs> My heart. Oh, dear. You know what? Smith's gonna come back. Is a and he's gonna MVP D four. D four? D four. Yep, he's gonna join G seven. That's gonna be big. <laughs> he's gonna MVP D four for G seven. You've got a floor in your plan there. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no G seven are in D three, right? Oh yeah, right. I <laughs> see. <laughs> <You found that? laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Anything's possible. So he could end up MVP in D4. You never know. So let's MVP D4 by playing in D3, folks. Well, you know what? It, it, it's all Anything good. Is G possible. G7 get secretly moved down and uh, BA2 get secretly moved up. <laughs> For some reason, QNT is playing now. It's, it's confusing. Then put Smith on QNT. Nah, he, he won't be able to play when they can. Wow. He has to play for French people. Time zone memes. Well, he played for CB, so... Well, he's a hero, that's why. He's the one, as Tifa would say. Shout out to Tifa. The faith Tifa, the real MVP. Alright, do we have anything else? The last thing I want to say is that let's look at the chat. Aaron can HBC mom. Aaron, honey, I saw your room <laughs> tour video. I think you should turn off this stupid broadcast and clean your room. <laughs> yeah, I wonder which RE person this is. <laughs> They're the only people who meme me. <laughs> I don't know, but when can I ban this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Never. Don't ban the man. Okay. Keep so, uh... him. Keep the memes? Yeah, keep the memes. Alright, I'll, I'll keep the memes. We need something to laugh at.